Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to customise um, a plugin. It's a social um, buttons plugin to put some different things in there for yourself. So basically um, this is called Socialize, this one. And also I've got the share bar over here. But um, what I've done here is I've written in my own message here. I've added in um, a couple of links like subscribe to my RSS, um, follow the um, Twitter and all that stuff because these things here, this is a tweet, um, so they might not necessarily follow. So we've got that and that. Um, we've also got subscribe to our newsletter here. Now um, I haven't put any um, incentives here or anything like that uh, but anyway this is working so now what I did is the first thing I did is install Socialize which is a plugin so I'll just go to the back of my website and um, all I did is go to the plugin section and press on add new and I just searched for socialize and press the install button okay so then I've got um, the settings here so it's got its own tab here so I just went down the bottom here and pressed on socialize now there are a I'm just gonna go to this first slot here settings okay so you get to the settings and there are some things that you have to fill in here so you have to get a bit.ly username um, and then you it's a free account so and then you go to your settings on your account and you'll see an API key the other thing is um, you'll have to click on these things here to get these little application IDs and admin IDs now um, also you need to go to your Facebook page um, for the website so I've got um, this is a computer tips website so I went to the computer tips Facebook page ID and I grabbed it just copied the URL up the top of the page when you get to Facebook you go to account and use Facebook as a page choose your page so it's tips for PC let's switch and then up the top here we copy the URL for the page okay that's how it is when you've done that we go into down to the menu here again and we go to the first thing I did was go to buttons because I wanted to choose what buttons were going to show up. Okay, so what I've done here is I haven't chosen an inline any inline buttons at all. Okay, because I've got AdSense ads going, and also I've got um, uh, teasers running on the front page, so I don't want them to interfere with my stuff. Now what I've done here is put the box. Um, which does look good and I chose four things to put in the box and I'll just show you again there it is there's the box right now it looks pretty good okay so that's all I did basically and I've kept the buttons large but you can come down here and change any of the settings so I'll scroll down and all I did was press save changes okay so the next thing I did is go to display now this is where it gets a little bit more difficult because I have um, embedded my own code in there now um, I've chosen to show this on the posts and the pages okay and you can just check out my settings here and just copy them if you like um, I also chose the color myself you can just press on this and you can select a color and this is the border okay so anyway the hard part is uh, making it all look good now I went to my MailChimp account 
and got a simple form and embedded it in here. Okay, I also um, embedded my own code which um, has a Twitter follow button and stuff like that. So um, what I can do is share that code with you and then you can alter it for yourself. That's the best thing that I can do. Because what I've done is um, I've put if you enjoy this post please um, consider sharing and I've made that H4 which is a heading 4 then I've put a HR line in there just a simple line going across I also put a break here so the line would be down one step um, then I added in a table but I split it in two with the form and some extra buttons okay I'll just show you one more time oh where is it here it is so there's my HR line going across here um, this is my H4 heading text that I put in um, this is my MailChimp form that I embedded and um, this is the other things that I embedded now this code here comes straight from Twitter um, I made this code myself all you have to do is put your Google um, plus one URL in there and also here all you have to do is put your RSS feed in there so what I'm going to do is share that code with you um, on my website all right um, I hope this helps someone get some groovy sharing happening on their website because um, you've got to make it look good. Alright, thanks for watching.